Hello. In this session, I will be discussing how to use SmartScore, Cortex XDR's new incident scoring feature new with the Cortex XDR 3.4 release. This feature utilizes machine learning, statistical analysis, incident attributes, and cross-customer insights to identify high-risk incidents and assists in addressing wasted time chasing after false threats. I will be discussing prerequisites to begin using the feature, along with demonstrating its utilization within the Cortex XDR tenant. There are a few prerequisites that are needed before we can start using the Smart Score feature. A Cortex XDR Pro license is required to use Smart Score. Also, in order for Cortex XDR to calculate the Smart Score, Cortex XDR Analytics must be enabled under Settings, Configurations, Cortex XDR Analytics. Upon its first activation in the incident configuration, Smart Score can take up to 48 hours to display a score as well. To initially configure the Smart Score Instant Scoring method, we can navigate to the Instant Configuration under Instant Response, Instant Configuration, and Instant Scoring. Here, we can see our user defined scoring rules alongside the Smart Score at the bottom. This can be enabled via the slider. The Smart Scoring feature functions as a hybrid scoring model meaning that it can be used on top of manual scoring and user scoring rules to calculate scores. When a score is calculated when smart score and user scoring rules are enabled, the score selected will first prioritize any manually assigned score to an incident. Then, rule-based scores will take priority. If an incident is received without either a manually assigned score or fall into one of our rule-based scores, it will then be assigned a score with smart score. It will also clarify this at the bottom here, saying that it only applies to incidents that didn't match any of the scoring rules. To recap, the hierarchy goes first the manual score, second the user scoring rules, and then last the smart score. Now, let's take a look at some incidents that are scored with smart score. Taking a look at this particular incident I found in the incidents tab, I can see how it got a score of 80 by hovering over it. Here. I can see it was a rule based score applied for this incident. We we're also able to see the smart score number for the event calculated as well. Since rule based scores take priority over smart score, it selected 80 rather than 8 in this scenario. If the smart score has a more accurate calculation for the incident score, we can select it and then select on apply to change its new score. If the incident has no manual or user based scores assigned, it will default to the smart score as seen in this incident. By hovering over the score, we are able to see that it was set automatically by smart score. And if we click on it, we can see that the hierarchy of the score assignment is correct since there is no rule based score for this incident and there's no manually set score as well. In cases where there is a discrepancy for the smart score, you can hover over the score and select on Give Feedback. The feedback is anonymous, and it will ask if the scoring is too high, low, or is correct, along with providing the user to enter an additional description to improve upon smart score assignments for the future. Under the Incidents tab, there's also a new filter added in particular to search for incidents created with smart score. If we navigate to the filter, and select predicted score for our field, we can query for incidents based on their smart score assignment. For example, I can select less than 50 and see all the smart score assignments that are less than 50. You might be wondering why there is an instant score of 80 if we queried for less than 50. Well, that's because the smart score assignment is less than 50, but the rule based score assignment is greater than 50. The predicted score focus exclu focuses exclusively on the smart score. And as we can see, the smart score for this incident is 8. In this session, we discussed how to enable and utilize the new smart scoring feature in Cortex XDR. We discussed its integration into the scoring hierarchy, being a last resort method for scoring incidents after the user based scoring rules and manual scoring. 
We also discussed how it can be viewed and filtered for with the predicted score filter and the information hover menu. Additional feedback can also be given to SmartScore graded instance to improve upon its functionality in the future. For more information, please refer to the reference documentation for Cortex-XDR. Thank you and have a great day.